Good morning. Uh, we should go live in about another, I don't know, 30 seconds or so. Let's get set up here. Let's get going here, folks. Let's get going. Okay, I think we are ready. Hello and welcome back. If you're just joining us, my name is Hun. My channel is all about making better coffee at home. So last couple of years, I've been using mainly like Brista Express, Brista Pro, and like Rancherly or Servia I've been using and also what else I've been using? Uh, La Paboni as well and various uh, manual uh, espresso machines as well. So uh, if you are thinking about getting one or if, has, if you guys have one, wants to get learn more about it, make sure to consider subscribe my channel. And so today we're going to do some really fun stuff, okay? If you are a coffee guy, it's going to be, if you, if you have Brista Express and coffee, if you like coffee, this is a good video for you. Just make sure to stay tuned for that. And let's see what else. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to test, okay, pressure again. Because yesterday someone asked me, Hun, what is the, uh, so, what, what, so what was the what, 14 bar pressure on a gauge, okay? So I think we didn't, we didn't check that out yesterday. So we are going to check it out shortly. And also, I'm going to play with, is bottomless pore filter on Brista Express because is a 14 bar pressure good for bottomless pore filter? So let's find that for you as well. So, so bottomless pore filter, man, I've been using it for a couple uh, couple years now. I don't usually use it on Brista Express because they're high pressure. So I always get channeling. So uh, maybe uh, we're gonna try again. Hopefully, maybe we can fix it perhaps I don't know so let's find that for you and so this morning I'm going to be using brand new coffee I'm gonna shout out to Tom uh, he's my father-in-law he sent me coffee called coffee am okay I don't know I don't know much about this company but I, I check out the website as well they're pretty inexpensive coffee so very affordable smells good unfortunately <clears throat> there's no roasting date on it so but anyway, so we are going to make coffee with this. And so let's get going, okay? Let's get going. So let's start with pressure test. And then before, I'm not, here's what, what I'm gonna do. I'm going to, before we're gonna put in the uh, group here, I'm gonna fill it with the water first, okay? So give us that stable pressure instead of the empty. So yeah, so I'm gonna put some water in it, like so, so. I think it hopefully give us the better result there. I guess not, not the better result, but more stable. Okay. It's something in it. So, so you know what? Let's check it out right now. I'm just going to press the double cup button here. So right now the pre-infusion is happening. It's about what, two bar, three, and start going up. Actually, on around four bar, 14 bar right there. So you are looking around like one o'clock range. It's like 13, 14, like so. So there's one o'clock, it's about, Hold on a second, I need to put my glasses on. So that is around, yeah, around 14 bar. Okay, so 14 bar is equivalent to 
the one o'clock range, okay? So, so that is the, uh, compared to Brista Pro, okay, Brista Pro give us around between seven and eight bar consistently because the, re because I know for, okay, so yesterday afternoon, if, if you haven't seen my other video about Rancholia Serbia, the Rancholia Serbia calibrate calibra for nine bar pressure. So I tested with <clears throat> this pressure gauge from, you know, Amazon. I got a nine bar right on it. So, which means a Brista Pro, I saw around hovering around between seven and eight. So more like eight or so. So I think that's somewhat accurate there. So, which means this one, there's no regul, you know, kind of regulator. So heat at 14 and stay there, so. So you know what, so let's make some coffee uh, with brand new coffee from Coffee AM and then see what their bottom less uh, they look like, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, one if I buy brand new beans, I just set, you know, set around like number seven because with Boost Express, as you know, it's about 16 different settings. So I just, between seven and eight, I start with, okay? I'm just gonna set it number seven. Okay, so this one, Organic Bolivia La Paz, okay? I don't know if it's a single origin. I'm not sure, but let's check it out. It smells really good, okay? A definitely medium roast, as you can see from there. So I'm, I'm just gonna put some little bit of coffee beans in it. I'm just gonna flush it out. I mean, th this is what I like to do whenever I got a brand new coffee beans. Even though I don't use hopper, but yeah, beans from yesterday's. Okay, so we have, so we are done with pressure test. So let's, I'm going to use about 19 gram there. About, uh, let's do 19 gram. Okay. Do the 19 gram. By the way, uh, happy Tuesday. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use nine. Uh, I'm around. Okay, so if you're new to the Brista Express, you know, I guess you know if you're new to the making coffee, highly recommended uh, get a scale because you want to know what you are dealing with. So I'm gonna do. You know what? Let's do 19.5. Okay, 19.5. All right, so I'm just gonna put it in here. I'm just gonna use, we're gonna do the bottomless pour filter. Okay, I got, where's my dosing funnel? Just gonna smells really good. Okay. Okay. Someone asked me about the, what's the depth. I mean, sometimes I kind of like eyeball it. Hold on. Let me distribute this first, and I'm just gonna temp. Okay. So it comes to depth wise. I mean, if you if you're not quite sure about it. The back of your tray, okay, it's called razor tool. This, this razor tool is actually designed by Bravo, the, the, uh, the research team. Give you the, the optimal the depth from the group head to your pour filter. So if you're not quite sure, uh, once you tempt, put it in here and scrape it, okay? So that's the way you want to use. 
So, so this is really great tool for that. You know, if you're not quite sure about it. Okay. All right. So let's get going. So this is the uh, our first shot. I'm not gonna time this. I just want to see the flow of the shot because I have no idea what the grinder size for this particular coffee beans is. So I'm taking a big risk here. But you know what? I mean, this is kind of like fun of making coffee. Okay, so here we go, guys. Okay, so I'm um, based on uh, so based on Bravo Barista Express, we gotta get about 14 bar of pressure. Let's take a look. Okay, that's pretty good. Guys, we got lucky. Okay. Yeah, re re looks really good. Okay, man. I think I don't get this lucky that often. Beautiful shot there, beautiful crema, beautiful tiger stripe. So once in a while, I got really lucky on coffees. So the grind setting for this one, I used Kind of like just right on the middle, okay, around seven or so, okay. There's no channeling. Man, I think I better stop now. Okay, so I mean, that was perfect shot, okay. That was perfect. Is that perfect shot? I don't know. So, so let's taste it. Let's taste the coffee there. So I have no idea what to expect with this coffee it comes to tasting notes. Cheers. Ooh. Okay. By the way, I've been spoiled by, you know, the coffees you guys are sending me. I, my, you know, freshly roasted coffee beans, but this is really, I think this is made for like milk-based drink for sure, okay? So it's not like, it's, I don't want to say bitter, but hold on, let me try again. Yeah, I mean, it's, I don't know, it's, it's not the best, okay? The looks wonderful, wasn't it? But it's not the best. So, again, so this case, we, even though we got 14 bar of pressure, and I, I, if someone out there explained to me, okay, the, so you saw that 14 bar pressure, but it wasn't 14 bar pressure. They give you the 14 bar first from the group head, and then we got about like, uh, kind of 12 o'clock range there, give you really nice the flow of the shot so so because around 14 bar pressure was around like one o'clock range hold on here let me show you guys close up so earlier we did so 14 bar pressure around one o'clock range there or maybe one or one and a half there so we just saw this shot was around 12 12 o'clock range i thought there was pretty good pressure give you that nice so only way to remedy that is kind of like grinder size and the dosing amount. And because we did about what, 19.5 gram. So if I change the dosing amount, we're not gonna get that similar shot, okay? So you know what, uh, let's, uh, let's do one more shot, okay? So because the, people are complaining about the Bristol Express is the consistency. So we know this shot was good, okay? And then can we duplicate that? So, uh, let's try. Okay, so we're gonna, I'm gonna do the one more shot. And then after that, if you have any questions, let me know. Okay. Okay, so, so we're gonna do the same coffee, exactly the same setting. Only thing difference is uh, we did second time, that's it. Okay, I'm going to do 19.5 gram again. All right. By the way, if you are watching this, thank you for watching it. If you are watching on, on after live streaming. So this, this is one bad thing about the live streaming. You have to see me kind of like getting ready and stuff. But just 
feel free to fast forward. Okay. Because someone, someone asked me, "When your video is too long for your live streaming?" Yes, it is. So once I edit this, this video is about what? Three minutes long, maybe. So. So this coffee is from my father-in-law got it for me, what, uh, last week? It's called Coffee AM, okay? It's kind of like big, you know, uh, coffee place you go to. It's not expensive. This one costs, I, I don't know how much he paid for it, but I think average price was like $14 per pound, okay? Not, uh, $14 per pound, not 12 ounce, so. I thought that was a pretty good deal. All right. So let's do one more here. We are doing the exactly the same as one before. I'm just going to tap it. Get the, all the coffee grinds out. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna tap. Just make sure everything is nice and flat. As you can see, you see a lot of clumps there as well. Okay, I know people use this called WDT techniques, called wise distribution technique. Just go through, you know, I'm, I'm using the like paper clip, but I'm not gonna do that today. I'm just going to just distribute and temp comes the temping pressure be consistent okay it doesn't matter it, it, it doesn't need to be 30 pounds as long as you're consistent you're good to go so this is number two shots but this time I'm gonna time this I think I'm gonna time when I start the button there you know what actually yeah, let's do that. I'm just gonna get the light so you guys can see it. All right, here we go. Okay. Okay, another great looking shot. There are no channeling so far. Again, pressure at 12 o'clock. I'm looking for around 40 gram. Man. Man, this, so this is perfect. We got 30 seconds. Okay, that's including the pre-infusion as well. Coffee looks really wonderful. You got two for two guys. You got beautiful tiger stripe. Yeah, it looks wonderful. I'm pretty surprised by this coffee, okay? I mean, if you, are, if you guys are taking like Instagram photos or like YouTube videos making like bottomless shots, I'm pretty impressed with that, that coffee there. Yeah, beautiful looking shots, but let's try this. So this, so this is, uh, I like the ratio. I got, I'm using the one to two ratio with, and the time is right on it. Cheers. Okay. So one before was a little bitter, but let's, let's try this one. Okay, more, more balanced this time. I mean, if you guys like, like strong espresso, I mean, this is, this is good, okay? So this is, I mean, if you got, again, if you guys like that, like, strong coffee flavor, it's not bitter or sour, just, you know, to give you, like, good tasting shots, if you guys kind of like that. I'm not a big fan of, like, kind of nutty and chocolatey. I prefer more fruity uh, uh, coffees there. So, yeah, I mean, so this is really good. So, by the way, the reason why I like doing this uh, live, 
live shows because you guys are going to see everything and you know, everything what I do. So hopefully you guys can kind of like take that and uh, try it at home because sometimes if you watch some you know YouTubers, there are a lot of parts are edited out. Um, if you are coffee, you know, advanced coffee makers, you know, that's fine because I think most of you out there, you guys start getting into espresso because you know, person that that's the reason why. You know, I start the channel anyway because I want to see that, that detail. So, anyway, so I think we have some questions. Does the port filter make a difference in channeling? Is a port filter makes difference in ch ch uh, I don't think so. No, the channeling is based on your. Is a lot of variables more like the grinder grinder quality is a big one, and uh, maybe pressure perhaps, and dosing amount. So, I mean, there's a lot to it, but. So far, as you've seen on the, this, you know, this, uh, this, uh, this, so this coffee beans, okay? If I try the another coffee beans, it's not the same. But with this one, uh, we got two for two with the, without any channeling, so. Or does the bottomless just let you see it? So with the bottomless port for the use, you are going to see the, all the imperfection on your coffee. You can say that's why you see the channeling. I mean, again, the built-in grinder. You saw the shots, it works fine, okay? I mean, I think, the, yeah, I mean this, I mean, if someone say, hey, you know, built-in grinder is not as good as like my niche or other coffee grinders, maybe. But, I mean, you know what? Personally, I mean, I like it, okay? A lot easier to use and, you know, less headache. Let's put it that way. But yeah, I mean, so, works just fine. In terms of latte, which one would you prefer, Ranchlia Sylvia? Or someone asked me. Pro? Someone asked me, Ranchlia versus Brewster Express or Pro comes to making latte. I think I go all day long. I go with Pro or Brewster Express. Okay, there's no comparison. So much easier. Yes, Ranchlia Sylvia give you a better espresso quality, but comes to milk based drink. Once you put the milk in it. Put some little bit of sugar or some syrup, uh, yeah, just fine with yeah, Brista Express or Pro. Where do I get that funnel? Someone asked me, where do I uh, get the, this? Those? I'm going to put the link down below, okay? So this is uh, one of my viewers, Jonathan, designed it a couple years ago. He sold it through Amazon, so yeah. I know this is plastic. You might think this is overpriced, but man, you know what? Just, I love it, okay? It's a lifesaver. What else? My wife's going through the questions over what there. What is your internal grinder setting? Someone asked me, what is my internal grinder setting on Brista? So this Brista Express, I set at number five. And the, what I'm going to do is next few days, I'm going to uh, kind of like, I'm going to use the Brista Pro, give you guys a kind of like rundown on the pressure. The, if you have low pressure at home, I'm going to give you the kind of like ultimate guide to grinder setting. Okay, so let's do that next few days. It's gonna be a lot of fun as well. Um, I use Breville Brist Express with fresh coffee. I never get channeling with the bottomless portafilter. I tried it with old coffee and no crema came out at all. Okay, so someone asking me about the, if someone's using like older coffee, because the crema is like gas, kind of like the built up gas releasing it. That's why you see that the crema there. So if you are using the older coffee, you're not going to see crema because it's been already degassed. So, I mean, we are talking about older coffee. But whenever you use like fresh coffee like this, you see like a lot of crema coming out, which means that's kind of like gas, CO2 is releasing. I think, okay, correct me if I'm wrong, guys. I know some of you out there are expert at crema, so, but that, that's, so that's what I understand. Does the inner burr grinder setting change with time or does it stay on the same size? Okay, someone asked me about the is inner burr grinder set, uh, inner burr is changed, you know, if times go by, yes, because they're blade, okay? So once the blade is getting dull, it's not cut sharp enough. So some, and so you, eventually you have to, if you're at lesson number five, some point you have to adjust down to four or three, okay? So that's what's gonna happen. That's why I, re I usually replace about once, maybe once a year, I replace out the uh, inner burr as maintenance. You don't have to, okay? You don't have to. I think we are good this morning, okay? I think we are good. So as you saw, I mean, this coffee was performs really well. And comes to, 
uh, Brista Express. Again, the 14 bar is about one o'clock range there, as you saw. But it's all dependent on the, what kind of grinder setting, coffee beans. So with this coffee, we got a pretty good pressure on that. So with the bottomless port filter, if you are thinking about getting one, uh, it's not based, this is just a tool, okay? I don't use it daily, but because in daily use, I use it just to spout it. A lot easier to use, and I feel like they keep the coffee hot, hotter than bottomless port filter, so. Overall, you know, bottomless kind of like shows you the, you know, what's going on with your shot. So, I mean, I use it as a tool, not the my, uh, main uh, pour filter. I know some of you out there loves bottomless, but it's all depend on what you guys like. Two more questions. Ah, okay, we got two more Dan questions. Dan asks, could Hoon explain what the grind amount button does? I see people using it at setting two and others right around. Okay, so grind amount, okay, so I use a uh, single dose, okay? So this is just the time. So, that, so it's all the, again, so this is not consistent either. So what I usually do is I just go all the way. So I just make sure I, I want to grind for a month. If I put 19 gram in, so I just want to grind it and maybe another second or so. So if you are using the hopper, that's a different story, okay? So, so that's the, so that's the kind of like the time dosing. So, that's something you have to play with. All the motions are different, okay? I know some people set at number four, someone set at number five, so it all depends on you know, your grinder, let's put it that way. Yeah, so it's based on time. And the best alternative to niche? Someone asked me, what's the best alternative to niche? Donald. So Donald asked me, I mean, if you are using Brista Express right now, Built-in grinder is just fine, okay? Just keep using it. But if you are, if you want to like getting into like French press or pro over, just go with, you know, I mean like separate coffee grinder there. If a money is issue, I think I go with a like nice hand grinder for a couple hundred bucks. I think that's pretty good. Again, so this is, I'm talking about the pro over and French press. But uh, I don't, I, I think, I think some of them, I think Eduardo is getting uh, this coffee grinder from China, AliExpress. It's called DF60, I believe. Okay. That's the one. They have different names out there. I saw James Hoffman was playing with it the other day. That's around like 550 bucks or so. So that's pretty good. I don't know. I'd love to see more about it. Okay. But that's kind of like competitor to the niche grinder, the single dose. So. I'm looking forward to learn more about that grinder, but again, but meantime, hand grinder is pretty good option for you guys. So, I mean, if you have Brista Express, if you don't have it, just, you know, that's, I don't know, uh, let me find out for you more. So, this viewer says he wants to send you coffee a little bit so you can tell him what setting to use on my Okay, so, so someone asked me, uh, actually this viewer asked me, when can I send you some, some beans so maybe you can help me guide through? Uh, you know what, uh, what's the name of that person? Evolution. Evolution, uh, contact me through uh, Instagram, okay? And, may, and, and uh, let's do like video chat so I can walk you through. I think that's it'd be a lot easier because again, your grinder is not the same as my grinder, even the same machine. The, Bravo does not calibrate the grinder before they send it out. That's why they give you the adjustable inner burr set, inner burr. So you have to calibrate yourself. Um, okay, so what else? Which scale is better between a Kaya Lunar or the Amazon scale you use? Someone asking me which scale is better. You know what? Obviously, you know, a Kaya is much better scale, but mo most of us. So this is why it's called G Dealer Scale from Amazon. Cost me 15 bucks, okay? And this timer was cost me seven bucks. I mean, this is good enough. But, I mean, if you care about the like aesthetic on your coffee bar, Akaya Scale is fantastic. 250 bucks. So it's all depends on what you guys, what you guys like. Comes to accuracy, about the same. Because we're not talking about, you know, I mean, what's one gram off, okay? It comes to tasting. 
because I'm not that picky, okay? Mike said niche was back up for sale a few hours ago, but he said I'm sure they're all gone. Okay, so by the way, so if you guys are watching this right now, the niche is, uh, they open up the, I think should be May order, I think, May delivery or June delivery, so make sure go check it out. June. The June delivery just opened up a couple hours ago, so if you guys are interested, make sure go check out the niche website. Make sure go to niche website, okay? Not the like, you know, some other phony website. Just make sure go to niche. Um, and Revel, dual broiler or Barista Pro? Someone asked me, du dual boiler versus Bravo Barista Pro. Okay, so that's a great question because dual boiler, you have to get a separate grinder. I think a Seattle Coffee Gear has a package deal going on right now for Dura Bowler and a Smart Grinder. Uh, can you look it up, Heather? Say that again. Go to Seattle Coffee Gear, uh, Dura Bowler, and then they have a package deal right now. I think I think about nineteen hundred bucks. So Brother Brista Pro seven ninety nine. So it's twice more. So is it like? It, we're comparing apple to orange there because the dual boiler is the 58 millimeter with has dual boiler so you can do steam and uh, pull the espresso at the same time. The Seattle Coffee Gear has Breville Dynamic Duo. It's the machine and grinding yep. package for 1600. Okay, so Seattle Coffee Gear has on special right now for 1600 bucks with dual boiler and the smart grinder. Okay, 1600 bucks. Yeah, sixteen hundred. That's a really good price, by the way. So you got six hundred bucks versus uh, seven ninety nine. So you got twice more. So I mean, if money is not an issue for you guys, that's a pretty good option. But you know, for me, I don't have the space in my kitchen. Okay, as you can see, th this is my coffee studio right here. If you have space issues, and if you do a lot of milk based drink, I mean, goodness. Uh, I go with the Pro, okay? I go with the inexpensive options. Plus, you can take the Pro anywhere. I mean, whenever I go on vacation, I, I take that everywhere, so yeah. So, I mean, that's what I would do. A viewer asked, can you please make more reviews about La Pavoni? Someone asked me, uh, do more La Pavoni review? Yes. So, what I'm, my plan is I, I have another, my business, my shop, and I have a little, uh, coffee set up there so I have a lot of money set up my ranch leader Serbia so I'm planning on doing a lot more video for videos for you guys because the lot of money is kind of like any other coffee machine you you need to learn okay it's not like you know you buy it and you know a couple months later you are going you are getting good at putting the shot it's not like that at all so it does take time so so far Better with Brista Express compared to Lapaboni, but I'm not there yet with the Lapaboni. So yes, I'm planning on making more videos on Lapaboni. Matthew asked, do you like the time or scale? Matthew asked me, do I like time or scale? Oh, uh, not yet, okay? That's why I returned it. So, because it comes to beer quality, beer quality is fine for the price, but it's there too big, okay? Too big and I don't know, it wasn't, it wasn't the right scale for me, okay, for me. But overall, our timers are fantastic. Okay, I think we are good. Okay, it was wonderful. I think it was fun. Okay, it was a really fun session there. And I mean, if you guys are thinking about buying Brista Express versus Brista Pro, I'm gonna do the full rundown on that. Maybe this weekend, I'm gonna set side by side. Kind of like, I, I done it a few times, but this time I'm just gonna go more in depth, okay in-depth about the both machines and it's gonna be really fun as well and what else is going on this week i think i'm gonna i gotta do some couple of unboxing videos and i got some more coffee beans coming from the uh, friends out there so it's gonna be i want to try out the different coffee beans so it's gonna be uh fun times uh make sure press like on my video and that google likes it and then if you uh, if you haven't subscribed my channel make sure to do so uh, I have plenty of, uh, a lot of coffee contents coming up, and I have plenty in my library as well. So, uh, see you guys tomorrow morning.